So the first pair of words are pakida and pyonhada. Uh huh. Pakida and pyonhada. Exactly. Pakida and pyonhada. This was actually a, re- a request from a listener. Okay. So um, somebody specifically asked, "What is the difference between pakida and?" Mm, that's pyonhada? a good question. <laughs> because if you search in a dictionary, the uh, translation you'll get is probably "change" to "change." Yeah, to change pakida. or to become different. Different. Yeah, it's the same thing in English, but in Korean, the feeling that you get from these mm. words is pakida. different. Pakida. Yeah. Pakida to change. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what is your guess? Hmm. Pionada. Yeah. <laughs> to change. Pionesso. Uh, Sometimes they say, oh, ye pionesso. Yeah. They say, like, oh, that person or that friend, he changed. Yeah, he's changed. Pionesso. Mm-hmm. So, what's the difference? Uh, uh, maybe you can say pionesso about a person. Yeah. But you can't really say, you, can, you can't really use. Pakrida for a person. Mm. I don't know. You can. Pionis, so. You still can. So. <laughs> okay. So what's the difference? I don't know. You give up. I give up. All right. All right. So <laughs> pogi. <laughs> pogi is give up. <laughs> all right. Basically, pyonhada is based on the Chinese language, of course. Like oh. Pyon means you know it comes from pyonhua, mm-hmm. change. Pyonhua change. Okay. Yeah. So it's part Chinese, uh, and pakrida is of course native Korean. I see. And whenever you say um, something has been modified, something has been changed, you can say pakida, but pyonhada, like you mentioned, is a modification. Be, yeah, but more, I guess it's deeper. Uh-huh. So somebody's adi- attitude has changed, somebody's, for example, like if your t-shirt has changed, yeah. you just went into some kind of fitting room and you... I changed my clothes. Yeah, that can be either oshi pakida. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, it's a different set of clothes. Yeah. So it's oshi pakyosoyo. Pakyosoyo. But it's not like 옷이 변했어요. If you say 옷이 변했어요, the same clothes, you're uh, still wearing the same clothes, but it has changed. Maybe, yeah. The, the form has changed. Or maybe, the maybe the color has changed, mm-hmm. or maybe it's just getting old. Yeah, so it's the same thing, and you, your, some of your features have mm-hmm. changed. So that's why you say 변했어 about a person who... You know, you used to know quite well. Used to be like this, yeah. but that person transformed into another person. And you're not sure if you know this person really well anymore. Hmm. In that case, you can't really say, 바뀌었어. 바뀌었어. Um, no. So you can say, 변했어. Yes. Um, can you give us an example of a sentence with 바뀌었어 or 바뀌다? Um, for example, if, like, since these days, you know, it's cold outside, so we wear coats. Yeah. And your coat and my coat can be similar. Uh-huh. And then I can go home wearing yours. Yeah. And then I can call you back ah. later. 우리 옷이 바뀌었어. 바뀌었어. Mm, switched. Uh, switched. Mm-hmm. Okay, 바뀌었어. Uh, you can also use it for, um, let's say you have a new car. Mm. Oh, and your friend can say, oh, 차가 바뀌었네. Yeah, in that case. So, this, if... These two words are exactly the same. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it in mm-hmm. some contexts, but in contexts where pakida and panada are different, mm. pakida is it's a new thing. Yeah. You don't have the same car anymore. Yeah, it's completely a different thing, a different object. But if you say your car pyonhesso, it's like your it's the same car but that a transforming robot or something. <laughs> <laughs> so pyonada has more this mm, modification, mm-hmm. this yeah. Transformation true. aspect. True, true. And pakida is like a drastic change, a different object or a mm-hmm. different item. Exactly. Very good. Um, let's move on to the second pair of words okay. here.